Hey, boys and girls, it's Mr. Sunito, and I've got another book for you today, and this one is a lot like yesterday. It is about a garden. This book is about a boy who builds his own garden. It's called Jack's Garden by Henry Cole. So let's take a look at this one under the camera and see what we can learn about gardens. Jack's Garden by Henry Cole. Now, I, if you watch yesterday's video, um, we talked a little bit, we read a lot about gardens. So think back, what is it, boys and girls, that you already know about creating a garden? Think for just a moment. What do you know about gardens? Hmm. Well, we're going to learn even more today. In this book, I want you to listen for some lines that are repeated in the story. And if you want, you can join in by saying the words if you think you know the words that are coming next. It's also a very large book, so I'm going to do my best to show you everything on the pages. But I want you to know, ooh, it's going to take some work. Okay. Take a look at this. Jack's Garden. Boy, it sure does look like Jack has a very large backyard. Do you see that? I wonder what he's doing with this string. What do you think this person's doing? Maybe that's Jack's dad? Hmm. And it says, this is the garden that Jack planted. I'm gonna slide this over. Now, what do you see in the small pictures around the garden? Well, these are tools that Jack uses in the garden. So these are pruning shears, a garden claw, a trowel, that's what we call that tool from last time, a rake, hose, a garden hose, watering can, and a hoe. So those labels tell us the names of these tools. Oh, here's one more label. Shovel. This is the soil that made up the garden that Jack planted. So here's the soil. And what do you see inside the soil? Well, I certainly see a lot of these earthworms. But there's more. Let's read these labels. This is a star-nosed mole. Because look, he's got a star on his nose. We've got a ground beetle, a cicada, cicada larva, moth larva, slug eggs, beetle larva, fly pupa, and a slug. These are the seeds that fell on the soil that made up the garden that Jack planted. Look at all of these seeds. Now, let's see. These are lupine seeds, phlox seeds, Deanthus seeds, hollyhock seeds, poppy seeds, sunflower seeds, milkweed seeds. 
and he's planting them. Look, you can see he's planting the seeds. This is the rain that wet the seeds that fell on the soil that made up the garden that Jack planted. And up here, these are different kinds of clouds because of course, where does the rain come from? Clouds. And we've got cumulonimbus cloud, cumulus cloud, stratus cloud, cirrus cloud, and cirrocumulus cloud. And this is a tool used for measuring the rain. It's called the rain gauge. Boys and girls, what do you think is going to happen to the seeds now? Let's find out. These are the seedlings that sprouted with the rain, that wet the seeds, that fell on the soil, that made up the garden that Jack planted. So I'm going to read these labels. So these are the seed leaves, and these are the roots. This green part here is the stem. Oh, we've got a centipede bug and a millipede bug. We've got a robin, sow bug. These are germinating seeds. That means they're just beginning to grow. And then over here, these are the adult leaves. So these seeds have really grown. And these are seed leaves and these are roots and we've seen those before, but look at how his garden is growing. Wow. These are the plants that grew from the seedlings, that sprouted with the rain, that wet the seeds, that fell on the soil, that made up the garden that Jack planted. Ooh. And look at all these different kinds of plants. Bee balm. I'm not sure how to pronounce that. Alum, alum hollyhock, spiderwort, crane mantis, columbine. Garter snake, hawkweed, and then we've got more bugs after the garter snake. Wait, wait, that's not, that's a snake. I just said garter snake. That's a real snake. Oh my goodness. Praying mantis, that's a bug. This is a spider, goldenrod spider, swallowtail larva, lacewing, firefly, stink bug. So much is happening in Jack's garden. I didn't realize there were so many bugs and a snake. Yikes. Um, hmm. These are the buds that formed on the plants. So these are buds. Can you say buds? Okay, so these are the buds that formed on the plants that grew from the seedlings that sprouted with the rain that wet the seeds, that fell on the soil, that made up the garden that Jack planted. And there's all sorts of bugs that are still living in that garden. Wow. Boys and girls, what do you think these buds are going to turn into? they're going to turn into flowers. These are the flowers that blossomed from the buds, that formed on the plants, that grew from the seedlings, that sprouted with the rain, that wet the seeds, that fell on the soil, that made up the garden that Jack planted. And here are the flowers. We've got white clover, red clover, aster, black-eyed Susans, Fleabane, blue tea, lupine, wild geranium, yarrow, mullein, 
Coriopus, bee balm, pinks, and daisies, and spiderwort. Wow, so many different flowers. Wow, look at this. These are the insects that sipped nectar from the flowers, that blossomed from the buds, that formed on the plants, that grew from the seedlings, that sprouted with the rain, that wet the seeds, that fell on the soil, that made up the garden that Jack planted. We read about nectar and how it was on the, the legs of the bee when the bee flew into the flower. Well, look at some of the insects we've got here. We've got, this is a sulfur butterfly, a swallowtail butterfly, admiral butterfly. This flower is called purple coneflower, but it doesn't look very purple to me. We have a milkweed bug, a green june bug, a blue butterfly, a soldier beetle, skipper butterfly, Sarah orange tip butterfly, buckeye butterfly, metallic bee, copper butterfly, longhorned beetle, and a bumblebee, like we were talking about before. Wow. I hadn't even thought about, what do you see here? I hadn't even thought about birds being in the garden, did you? Well, these are the birds that chased the insects that sipped the nectar from the flowers, that blossomed from the buds, that formed on the plants, that grew from the seedlings, that sprouted with the rain, that wet the seeds, that fell on the soil, that made up the garden that Jack planted. Look at all these birds. A yellow warbler, Lirio, this says barn swallow, bluebird, catbird. Oh, wait, I don't know if you can see it. There's your catbird, golden finch, and they all have different kinds of eggs as well. Wow. Ooh, look at this. Here's a robin egg, and you can see how the robin is hatched out of its egg. Why do you think, boys and girls, um, that the birds like the garden. Why are they coming here? What do you think? What do birds eat? Do they eat flowers? No, not really. I think they eat insects. And where do the insects live? In the garden. And this is the garden that Jack planted. Oh, what a beautiful garden. How do you think Jack feels when he looks at what he has helped to grow? Look at that garden. Wow. It's beautiful. All right, boys and girls, why don't you go get your writer's notebook and a pencil and some crayons we're going to do some writing, and I'll see you back here in a moment. Boys and girls, do you have your writer's notebook and some crayons and maybe a pencil to write with? Okay, let's do some writing about Jack's garden. We're going to start by putting the title of the book at the top of your page, and then add your first and your last name. And we're going to think about some of the details from the book. We're going to think about what was in the garden. After Jack planted everything, do you remember some of the plants that were in the book? Mmm. Well, this is what we're going to do. On your paper, draw a line down the middle like this. Okay, so now we've got two sides. On this side, oops, we're going to write 
plants. And on the other side, we're going to write animals. And you can underline them just like that. And here's what we're going to do. You can look back at the video if you like. But I'd like you to think a bit. What plants did you see in the garden? Hmm. Let me see. Did I see a pumpkin? No, 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 no. I didn't see a pumpkin plant, so I can't put that there. Um, let me see. There were different kinds of flowers. Were, were there vegetable? No, there were no vegetables. Um, hmm. I think I saw a daisy. That's a flower. And I think I saw a red clover and, oh, um, oh, didn't I see seedlings? I'll tell you what, if you need to go back and watch the video, let's see if you can come up with one, two, three different kinds of plants. And then the same thing, let's see if you can come up with one, two, three different types of animals. And if you've got more, that's great. This is kind of tricky because what I want you to do is really pay attention to the details of the story and see if you can find those details. You go back and rewatch the video, then write down your answers, take a picture, and send it to me in Class Dojo. Have a great day, boys and girls.